What up, world? What up, you too? What up, everybody? It's Mr. Everything. I'm prolific, so gifted. I'm the type that's gon' go get it. No kidding. Breaking down a switch in front of your building. Sitting on the steps, feeling no feelings. Last night it was a cold killer. You gotta keep the devil in this hole, nigga. But you know how it go, nigga. I'm front line every time it's on, nigga. Who's that lady? Who's that lady? Come on, y'all last today. I just had the conversation about the fellas having a significant other who can make or break a grind. Same goes for y'all. It's a hundred times deeper with females because let's just be for real. Y'all are way more compassionate. Y'all love harder. Y'all think with y'all emotions and all of that. Being that if you're in a relationship with somebody you love them, you have every good intention. And it's not every woman, but most women, you got every good intention. You want to see your partner do good. You want to see your, your partner in a good place. But a lot of times that partner don't have the same intentions or drive as you. He dropped you off at work in your car. He driving around with his niggas in your car. He going back to your apartment. You trusting this nigga with your son. Or maybe he ain't got no kids, whatever. You trusting this woman, man, whoever. They Come on, man. You will ruin your life. You will ruin massive opportunities. You will ruin strong relationships that you didn't have with friends, family, over this individual. Hell, you will lose your motherfucking job over this individual. But not get that degree over this individual. I understand. Naturally, y'all are more loving. Women are more loving. They are more affectionate. And I think, and this is what I'm, I think, but I think women are like that because they want it in return. Y'all want to be loved. Y'all want that affection. Y'all want, y'all crave that. So naturally y'all put it out to get it back. And a lot of times y'all never get it back. A lot of times y'all just get taken advantage of. A lot of times y'all just get walked and stumped all over. And it's not fair. It ain't. However, it's reality. If you gonna be with a, a goofball, understand that that goofball is gonna do goofball ass shit. You gonna be with a crackhead, he gonna do crackhead shit. You gonna be with a loser, he gonna do loser shit. Don't expect for you to continuously grow and because you pursuing what you got going on that this motherfucker just gonna fall in line and he gonna grow with you or she gonna grow with you or whoever gonna grow with you. That ain't how that works. You need to assess and look at that individual from day one and see if the potential is there. Because if the potential ain't there, man, it's a wild factor. They might grow. Then there's the wild factor of somebody who seems very, oh, he's got great potential. They could fall. They could they could go through something and they just shut down. I'm not here to say leave people when they shut down or when they go through things. But when it starts to affect you and your life and you start to see things that you had planned going left, you start to see things that you wanted to do starting to dwindle away simply because you dealing with that one individual. It's time to make that hard decision. Either you got to go or I got to go. Either way it go, we got to separate. We have to put space and time in between us in order for one of us to grow. And if it's meant, just because it's not now don't mean it's not never. If it's meant, if you truly meant to deal with somebody or you truly meant to be with somebody, you feel me? That time and all of that, that, that ain't even gonna matter. What they do with that time and that absent time, that ain't even gonna matter. Long as that y'all took y'all space, y'all both got on a good page and y'all can come back. And don't don't think this is a fairy tale because that ain't for everybody either. It ain't meant for people to have that space. Sometimes that space is till death, God damn it. Y'all don't ne never need to be together in this lifetime. For the people who, it just because it's not now don't mean it's not never. Stop trying to control and do more than you can actually do. A lot of y'all think y'all God. Y'all can change and affect and do things. Y'all not. Just not. The reason why I'm on women and I'm really focusing on women simply because I see a lot more y'all being hurt than guys being hurt when it comes to relationships and when it comes to just pulling along a leech. I, I, like I said, I just, I see it way more with women. That's just me personally. Statistics could show and you feel me be something else. But from my point of view, what I see more, 
I see more women dealing with a significant other they don't know how to get rid of or a significant other that's just not holding them down. I've been that person in a lot of relationships. Take care of myself and I don't worry about whatever somebody else got going on. And that's not the mentality of somebody who is in a relationship. However, you gotta see your significant other's love language and understand it. I'm a tough love individual. I'm not gonna sit up and, 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 and sugarcoat and baby you about something that I strongly believe in. You want to start a business every day I see you and you're not starting a business. I'm going to tell you you're a fucking loser and you not you don't really want this business. That's in my head, me telling you that either you really want to start that business and that's going to motivate you or you really don't want the business. And I'm just speaking facts. Either way I go, I'm not going, hey, honey, uh, let's let's do some more work for your business today. Or let's 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 look at websites. And look, hell, I didn't fuck with Squarespace big cartel and shopify i found out because what you want to do here, here you go if you don't got somebody who wants the best for you then you shouldn't have them around if a person doesn't have the best intentions or want the best for you they shouldn't be around you because they they ultimately stealing your energy they ultimately you feel me they gonna keep you down in the dirt it's that simple. If you see in your life that you're not making any progression and the only variable, the only different factor is this individual or that individual, it's time for those individuals to go. Gotta go. It's Mr. Everything. Hope that helps somebody. I'm out.